Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now the author, he brings a chapter talking about wearing amulets. And he mentions different ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu and also narrations of the companions where the Prophet Sallallahu would rebuke a person for wearing amulets and he would take them off them. So what is the ruling of somebody wearing an amulet? If a person believes that this is a means that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made, meaning they believe that this amulet that they are wearing, it will help them because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made this a means, then that is minor shirk. Because that is not something that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made a means. However, if they believe that this amulet within itself, separate from Allah, will help them or harm them and has an effect by itself, then that's when it reaches major shirk. So what is the ruling on wearing amulets? It's two types. It could be major shirk or it could be minor. Major shirk if they believe that the amulet itself helps and harms and benefits, then that is major shirk. If they believe that it is a means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made into a means, then it is um, then it is minor shirk. So if you see a person who doesn't know at all, then they should be um, you know they should be taught. Otherwise, if they are still persistent believing that this is a means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a means, then it is minor shirk. If they believe in of itself that it causes harm and benefit, then that is major shirk. And if, you know, if there's a person who says, I don't believe in any of these, I am just wearing it for zina, for beautification because it looks good or whatever the case may be, then that is something which is haram and that is not something which is allowed because it resembles uh, shirk and so on in a Muslim from his veneration of Allah and him not loving shirk at all is that he should be far away from all of these things and likening himself to these people and to these actions.